What is up dudes and dudettes, this is Editions here, and today I've got the fifth episode in my Road to Masters Division series. And the gameplay in the background today is a hard point on raid, and as you can see, I do not do the spawn glitch. Uh, I was actually listening to music, just chilling out. This was Friday night, I believe, and you're going to be watching this on Tuesday, or later on, depending on when you, when you decide to watch this. But I'm recording this on Monday the 8th, and yeah, so what I wanted to talk about today was basically competitive weapons and sort of gun balance and basically that sort of topic not exactly what I just said but you know things around that sort of area and so what I want to start off with is that most of my gameplays are competitive I don't even think I've done a pub match yet I do I do play pubs it's just you know I don't go for those high scoring hundred plus swarm after swarm after swarm gameplays and so that's just not who I am I, I was I'm really in love with competitive gaming right now I'm having a blast and so the guns you'll see me using are the M8 the FAL the AN94 the MSMC and maybe the PDW that's for primary weapons. For secondary weapons, you'll see me use a single cap or dual B23Rs or maybe, and also the ballistic knife if I'm running flags in CTF. Um, I used to be mainly just a slayer. Now I've just completely changed up my game. I'm a very versatile player and I can really do whatever I want and still come out on top of the leaderboards and win the game for my team so you know I've really switched up how I played and a lot of that is due to just different patches making guns better or worse and just knowledge of the game playing it a lot and getting to know basically every gun forward and backwards and so my uh, so the the best assault rifles were the three that I just named the M8 the AN94 and the FAL they're both two uh, I mean three sorry three completely different guns the FAL is a super high powered super great fi uh, great fire rate if you have a good trigger finger and it's a semi-automatic um the M8 is a very very high powered basically no recoil laser beam it's a sniper in assault rifle form and it shoots a four round burst which is nothing like we've ever seen before uh... we've seen two round bursts we i don't think actually two round bursts but i've heard of two round bursts like guns before like playing battlefield and um... you know that's not new to me but a four round burst is pretty cool and it's just so, it's something that switches up the game and the fire rate is insane so I mean this gun and but the thing that really makes it not uh, not always the best and always like cuz like what I'm saying right now you're probably like wait how come I can't just outgun every single weapon well that's because you know it's inconsistent the bursts don't always hit it's a very connection based gun if you ever have host in a scrim or anything like that pull out the M8 if you are an assault rifle player and so the next gun the FAL oh sorry I went, already went over the FAL sorry um, the AN94 and that's a it's it's amazing like uh, it shoots the first two bullets fast at a 900 round round per minute fire rate and then the rest of the bullets come out at uh, a 600 fire rate so it's a very good gun and you definitely want to hit your first two shots because basically it's going to kill in 
like very fast so you're gonna be like if you hit your first two shots if you hit three shots in a row you're gonna kill them basically and and if you get your first two sh uh, if you aim for the head and you hit your first shot the b the second bullet comes out so fast that you're basically gonna get another uh, you're guaranteed to get another bullet on the the same exact target that you hit your first bullet and that's almost a guaranteed headshot the only thing that pulls it away is its recoil so it's not like the M8 where it's a sniper rifle at long range and you can just take out people like a boss but um uh yeah that's it for assault rifles that uh now on to the SMGs and probably the best SMG is the MSMC and sorry when I was naming the guns that you'd see me see uh, see me pl play with, sorry, see me see that. I, I always mess up these commentaries, but whatever. That's just who I am. Um, uh, one I didn't mention was the M uh, MP7. So, but let's get back on topic. The MSMC, the best submachine gun in the game, by far. I love you. I use the iron sights. I'll use extended mags because it, it shoots pretty fast and it runs out of ammo with only a 30 round mag and um, it's very accurate you know it's it's as I said it has a high fire rate high damage they did nerf it a little bit with the recoil but for nothing a foregrip can't help I mean really foregrip has now become one of my favorite attachments on both the MSMC and the PDW-57 because of the recoil nerf and um, so really uh, all around it's the best SMG it's really got its perks almost everywhere and I wouldn't even call it all around I would actually just call it the best in everything really it's it's just insane and so the next gun that I mentioned was the PDW 57 this thing got a way bigger nerf because of the recoil the recoil is is now unmanageable really I mean the foregrip does help but I just feel it's just too much the foregrip is it, it's it even the foregrip doesn't get it back to what it used to be it's it's just it's just almost useless now I barely use it I don't even know why I have it in a lot of my classes it's actually kind of a waste and I'm gonna switch that out probably with the mp7 and let's go on to that I didn't really want to talk much about the PDW it's not that interesting um, uh, so the mp7 is just great you know it's 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 got uh, the super high fire rate it's got um it's it's just so accurate you know moderate recoil and great clean iron sights so it's a very good another very con connection based gun i would really not use this gun regularly in a public match or a league play game but when you know it, it just really you it's it's a hit or miss basically and so the next gun I wanted to talk about was I'm trying to think PDW MSMC MP7 I think that's it let's quickly talk about the secondary weapons and I also use a shotgun, but I'm not going to go into that. It's A shotgun's a shotgun. I mean, there's only one good one. There's other cheap ones, but still, you know. Uh, I only use uh, the Remington on uh, Hijacked, and that's it. But, um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, on to the secondary weapons. There's about, like, uh, 70 seconds left, so a minute, basically and in this video and so the cap 40 is amazing so what you want to do with an assault rifle is have a single cap on your back because basically the ARs outgun SMGs at long and medium range 
and then you switch to your cap at close range and that has the fire rate and the damage and the no recoil to take out SMGs at, at short range. So basically you're covered for everything and it's amazing. And then the B23R's uh, dual wield I use on hardpoint and just really close range maps and those tear tear some booty. So uh yeah, this has been additions. I'll see you dudes and dudettes later. Share to Facebook and Twitter, favorite, rate, and subscribe. Yep, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.